Hello friends. Well, this series of lectures will be all about structural analysis. Now, in this lecture, what I'll try to do basically is give a short overview of what lies ahead. Now, we have already looked at strength of materials or solid mechanics and some part of rigid body mechanics. Now, essentially, if we apply solid mechanics or strength of materials and rigid body mechanics, or I should say the study of mechanics, if we apply it to some real structures, we have the subject of structural analysis. Now, in strength of material or solid mechanics, we have seen that the loads are essentially applied to the individual structural elements. But in case of structural analysis, the knowledge of mechanics is basically applied to the real structures. And therein is the difference of structural analysis with strength of materials. Now, uh, there, what, is, what is basically a structure? A structure is some kind of a thing that one builds because of it, it will serve certain kind of intended purpose like a building. Many, many, many people can stay in it or a bridge which can facilitate, uh, I should say, crossing of suppose a river. Uh, then you have industrial sheds in which a factory can run. You have chimneys where all the gases, the pollutants go out of it. So these are the various kind of structures and each structure should satisfy some of the human purposes, some of the human wants, right? And if we can apply the knowledge that we have gained from the study of strength of materials or solid mechanics and rigid body mechanics to this structure, we have the subject material of structural analysis. Now, uh, one more thing is that the, the, the structures can also be divided into various types according to the load transfer mechanism. For example, uh, we have seen that the individual structural elements, for example, like the beam, it takes in the external load and it essentially resists bending. A column it takes in the external load by compression now we have frames also which is basically an amalgamation of beams and columns trusses then you have shells arches and all this are the various types of structures we have so the course will be designed like this that first what I'll try to do is basically take a look of what we mean basically by determinacy and indeterminacy of a structure then we'll look at symmetry and anti-symmetry right of a structure then what I will try to do is go to the determinate structures, look at trusses, look at frames, look at the various types of determinate structures that one can, right? Then I will look at indeterminate structures and try to get the concept, make everybody acquainted with the concepts of moment distribution theorem, the slope deflection method and the, stru and the, and the basic course will be like this. So in the next lecture, We'll start with the main matter of strength of materials and the next lecture will be on static determinacy and static indeterminacy followed by kinematic indeterminacy and kinematic determinacy. That's all for this lecture. Thanks a lot for listening. Thank you.